Three teams remain here at the Saints Call League Rocket League Invitational here at St. Clair College. Well, five teams have packed their bags and gone home, and there's still one more team left to be eliminated before the grand finals. One could be a couple-hour drive, and, well, one could be just a walk across the parking lot. That, of course, is St. Clair College going up against the University of Akron. In the last semifinal match, winner clinches a berth into the grand finals. Of course, this will be a best-of-seven series, too, so this could be as long as it could possibly could go. And with the way these two teams have battled over the last few matches against each other, specifically, Specifically, anything can happen. And well, for the side of Akron, I was talking with Coach Huntley before the match, and they've had to make some adjustments. Of course, with Milio in the lineup, they've had to adjust their positioning and rotation uh, rotations for this match specifically, especially uh, with the previous knowledge of St. Clair. And, you know, they watched back the VOD, took some notes, and they know what they need to do in order to take down the hometown Saints. On the other side, St. Clair looking to continue a very good run so far at this Invitational, a perfect series record, and they're looking to build on that, and they will certainly need to as they hope to find their way into the Grand Finals after finishing top four last year. Definitely do not want a repeat there. So, I got I to gotta do this because we do have some people in the front row. Let's make some noise for the hometown St. Clair Saints. <laughs> Love it. This is good energy. This is good energy. All right. We're going to send this one to the caster's desk to bring us in. Yes, it is our final semifinal of the day, the last match before the grand final, which is oh so hyped up. We have St. Clair versus Akron, two teams who have shocked, who have continued their level of dominance throughout the tournament. Akron making a comeback after going one and two in round robin will look to make that grand final. And St. Clair, on the other hand, are on a run of their own. Right, and I mean, this is such an interesting series because this matchup happened earlier in the morning. You were covering it, I believe, yeah, and, and uh, we all saw how that went. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be interesting to see what they are going to change up. Maybe, you know, Akron goes back and kind of realizes, like, what mistakes were we making? And uh, that's going to have to be the story of can Akron figure out this Saints defense and open yes. up the scoring. Yeah, and we've seen Akron. They just played against Durham College. Of course, Durham College was already a uh, uh, essentially a favorite among uh, a lot of us here. They were a top contender. They were able to beat them in a best of five, but now Akron will have to handle another beast this evening. The hometown team St. Clair College in a best of seven to qualify for the Grand Finals. Well, you said it best. It's got to be someone going home and someone going to the finale. And now Vesh with the save is going to start the defense for St. Clair, clearing out of his own back end to Spoods, trying to find the offensive pressure. It is going to be Ilio, though, just to ground it, sending it up to Bullseye. Patty RL just trying to see if he can find the shot, lurking in coverage, but the save coming out from Christian. Yeah, and so many demos coming out for Akron. Part of the change in strategy, I imagine, is to not give St. Clair any space to operate in, use the skill that Akron have to outmaneuver St. Clair, leave them absolutely hopeless on the offensive end of the pitch. That being said, Vesh will be immediately cut off by Akron. And right now, if you're Akron, there's one man you oh have no. to worry oh about. No. That is oh not no. a great wow. pass, but what a save from Christian, cleared out from Vesh. What did I just watch? He gets the first save and then has the adjustment to get the second down the other way now. They can't convert on the goal just yet. Vesh dumping it in the back end. Demo's going wild both on the sides of each team. And now Christian with the corner. He has the play running interference, but the immediate recovery from Milio to even get the save after the bump. That was absolutely genius. And we are just seeing some defensive masterclasses to open up. Christian almost spelled disaster for St. Clair, almost leading to an open up own goal essentially, but was able to recover from his mistakes using awesome mechanics against Akron here. So we will remain scoreless two minutes in as Akron will look. Spoods able to get a second touch. Vesh for the clear over one. Spoods, Christian, excuse me, looking for the second touch off the wall. Spoods back to Christian, will be cut off by Bullseye. And right now, as I was saying before, Christian made that absolute highlight play. 
the person they need to deal with on the side of St. Clair if you're Akron is Vesh on defense. In the first series, they let Vesh kind of stay. They kept on trying to bump him, kept on trying to demo him, but Vesh would be able to avoid these and also get saves and clears on the back end of St. Clair. That is what kept them alive and got them that series win is then having that pressure to go back down the other side. So on the back side right now, Akron needs to try to find a way to interfere with Vesh. And if they can do that, it might lead to a little too much pressure like we saw on Christian in that previous play. Because let's be honest, no player is making that save multiple times in one game. No, definitely not. You don't even want to risk it. You don't want to be in those scenarios where you have to make a save like that consistently anyway. Because goal line defenses, I mean, they're important, but they can fail if hammered hard enough. Now, Bullseye will be taken out for his efforts. Patty, player that has been struggling a little bit in round robin, but was able to make a decent comeback against Durham College earlier today. Now is going to have to really put his mechanics to work to defeat a St. Clair, which has been burgeoning in this bracket and this tournament. Blue steal from Milio as he tries to unlock the offense for Akron. Has the flip reset, trying to get it around Vesh, but again, Vesh, that man to clear the ball out. Bullseye tries to feed it back in. Milio, no boost, leaving it off to Bullseye yet again. Patty just seeming like he wanted to go for that next touch. And he will do just that playing time, smooths with a demo on Demilio. So they have to kind of play careful right now because two players on Akron up while Milio only has 30 boost. Now grabbing that 100 should be safe to kind of clear back now and play that shadow defense. Ball oh, goes over the one player though. Careful, redirect. Redirect out. That's just in, that's just yeah. in. You have to be on that. You have to recognize that transition even if it means being right on a Christian, even saw it, was trying to get the rotate back in time, but wasn't able to. I didn't even get like too excited there because I honestly, it happened so quick and I thought that they had the defense to kind of slow it down and, and make that rotation, but Christian just a little too late there. 50 doesn't go his way either, so they will not be able to equalize just yet. 55 seconds left on the board. Akron doing a great job of holding. Patty able to get around the defender. It's going to be Christian to call his number though. And now Vesh, ceiling, can he find the drop down? No, not quite. Spoods with one touch, getting it over. Can we find oh, a flip maybe. center of 50? Decent 50, but no shooter to follow up. Christian trying to make some play off the sidewall, but it's not going to fall. St. Clair doing a decent job with these challenges, but they're not reacting hard enough to be able to convert off the rebounds. They're doing a decent job at opening things up. Akron trying to get the clear for some repair or reprieve. Patty going to collect, will be bumped for his efforts, but it doesn't even matter. Spoods thankfully able to be there for the save. Last possession here for St. Clair. Will try and make an opening. You can see Vesh just scrambling. Try and take out a member of Akron and hopefully open things up. This one, Bullseye That's doesn't have a read. Defender. That could be a shot. Where is the shot? St. Clair, last chance here as the last second will wind down. This will touch the ground. Akron steal this one. And they just expended too much boost to get the play going that they didn't have enough to finish it off. Again, you wouldn't expect the Akron defender to usually whiff there. So maybe the Saints caught a little bit by surprise by that, probably trying to figure out and positioning where this ball is going to go after the Akron defender touches. Once that whiff is made, no one's in position to score. And the second defender with the help defense helps clear out. So decent play there uh, from St. Clair to end the game, at least offensively. They were starting to drive the pressure home, but Akron do an even better job defensively, and they are able to hold their goal lead and now take the series lead 1-0. Of course, with a best of seven, plenty of time to work with for St. Clair to make adjustments as well as have Scholar chime in, really work with the team. Potential 2v1, this is going to be off the backboard. Now, almost a solo play. Vesh is going to look for the bump, he and he does. Potentially, Bullseye can't get there as he tries to make a play for it. St. Clair able to open this one off. And I want to see it again. Bullseye is going to get bumped here from Vesh and the recovery from Bullseye. He's just moving backwards as he lands. The, it's just the car takes him into the back of the net. He has not enough time to recover and get any forwards momentum to get a hit onto the ball. Vesh with a beautiful, messy solo play, but oh, it's going to go Cuxer? through. Cuxer, but it's just going to be high, I believe. Yeah, going to be nothing too dangerous to deal, dealt with on the back wall. Patty trying to oh, run that pass, pass down. It's going to be back down to Patty, but the, the just a little wide shot. I don't believe that was falling. Uh, so I think even though the save does go to Christian, nothing too goal-threatening there. Patty 
I, I just heard the cla the most classic joke in CRL history in chat, which is, is that Spuda? It's oh, like, yeah. oh my God, is that Spuda? Oh, no. I, you know, I did that to Spuda on land. You actually? I did. I was like, oh my God, is that St. Clair player Spoods? <laughs> uh, okay, anyway. Uh, of course, it is Spoods. Long time <laughs> CRL player for St. Clair College. Doing fantastic here for his squad on almost all ends of the pitch, though this That's one will be, be straight in. Beautiful pass from Akron. Right, I mean, there's just no one there on the St. Clair back line. You wonder if maybe a bump or a boost steal came in. Yep, it's going to be Christian who gets his boost stolen in the corner. Now, mind you, it was a little too late already by that time, but if he had something to get over there, might have been the difference between a save coming through. Decent kickoff on the side of St. Clair. Demo should come out. It will be just that off the top of the ceiling. He needs to try to find a 50 and Spoots finds it, but it is going to be a kill. And now the ball will just be able to go harmlessly into the defender's arms. Patty. Cross. St. Clair able to hold it to a 1-0 for a while now, but now that Akron is threatening to put their foot on the gas. They don't want to go down 2-0 in this best of seven, especially against an Akron who's been playing so hot. The shot is on and it is what? in from post to post. St. Clair secure the 2-1. I almost want to say the Akron defender got a touch on it and sped it up slightly. Yep, no, it's going to be exactly yeah. what happened. The pinch comes through, but it's not on the right side. Ball doesn't go the right way. So yeah, we'll take it. Uh, we take those. Exactly, no you, do. you do. St. Clair up 2-1 right oh, now, but that seriously? is a sloppy kickoff. And you can't give players at this high of a level that look. It's going to be Christian just not getting the better half of the 50. Bullseye absolutely outclasses him in that department. And University of Akron, they tie up things to a piece. It does happen. And with Akron playing at such a level, you don't want to give them any opening or any chance for momentum. And now Vesh looks to solo. Hook for a 50 pass. Spoots is right there to receive immediately. Spoots with his second one on the board right now. The guy's on fire shooting. And I mean, he's actually been shooting very well this entire tournament, I like to say. He hasn't whiffed too many things. We've seen him score quite a few goals for this team. And that's all being activated because of the fact that Christian and Vesh are now helping him out on defense. And that help defense goes a long way. Oh my. But there is going We're to be no trading. help there trading back and forth. It feels like kickoff after kickoff. We're only three minutes in. There's been six goals. It's going to be bullseye this time with kind of the feint to the right, then goes left, yeah. able to get the better half of the 50 onto Spoods. Trading back and forth. It gets boxing. St. Clair and Akron both doing everything they can. That's a good 50. Vesh will have to play back and will be in a 2v1. Look how aggressive though Akron are trying to hunt for this demo. It's the only way they can really break this deadlock of trading goals at the moment. Spoods and Christian fumbling over each other a little bit. Spoods just waiting for the defender to approach. Hopefully capitalizing on a bad 50, but in this case, the bad 50 will go against St. Clair. Another chance, Bullseye puts one on, saved by Christian. Someone needs to be there for the save, but St. Clair don't have a lot of boost left to work with, so they're gonna have to make do and be efficient. Christian sends this downfield, oh. bang, and in. I almost thought, I almost thought that Christian just missed there. They needed something to really answer back. They were in that half for a little while. They needed an impact shot. Christian's going to be the one to bring it top right corner. Say no more. Beautiful shot there by Christian. Saints go up four to three. Now, at this point, all that matters is that we just don't trade. <laughs> St. Clair doesn't trade a goal for another one. He keeps Akron at bay. Emilio on the back. And a solo substitute in for Akron Blue. Making, of course, the fondly named Akron Glue. And in this case, the glue is melting. Vesh secures the 5-3, breaks the trading deadlock. At this point, it's all on St. Clair to secure the win. Brent, it's not only Spoods running the ball into the corner for the pass, he then runs interference, bumping the defender as well. 
not able to get the touch on it, making it a stellar pass for Vesh. Vesh with the fake, leaves Milio in the dust, and now tries to take the corner, but with zero boost, can only try to run interference. Christian with one touch, but he's going to get demoed for his efforts. And now St. Clair, they only have Vesh on zero now, and you know, Christian's in the back line. They're in a bad position, and they don't have oh, much boost to work with. Spoots. You see Spoots, the only one with boost, able to get the clear, a very important one. But even still, the boost number is looking low for St. Clair, and that is a huge demo to get Milio off of that 100. At this point, this this touch from Besh. Oh, this one actually might go through. It may. The rebound will come through. Christian's going to put one on. Christian makes it 6-3. Right, and I mean, he's just there when you need him. The touches from Vesh, the fake, well, not the fake, but necessarily the engagement from Spoods, enough to make two defenders commit. And that leaves the net all on the lonesome with nothing but the ball and the goal in sight. Christian sends one through, 6-3, your score with a minute remaining. Honestly, if uh, a game is going to this level of score at this level of play, that means there's some horrible defense being played. So Akron are going to have to make some adjustments, even St. Clair as well. Last minute remaining, Christian just needs to keep the scoreline stable. I don't see a chance where Akron are able to make it 6-6, but anything can happen in Rocket League if enough uh, throwing variables are in play. Vesh oh, over to Spoods, to redirects, <laughs> not going to be landed. If it did, though, that would have been amazing. Uh, Bullseye with the clear, trying to find any sort of offense being ran here. But with 30 seconds left on the clock, you have to think it's too little, too late now for Akron. And they have to just try to maybe get a momentum starter, maybe even just by getting it to 6-4, getting that fourth goal, getting that last goal. They can maybe kind of halt everything and realize that they have the momentum to take it into the next game. But it's going to be St. Clair to not try to let them do so. They have the clear out. It is going to be Vesh. The time will be burnt and will be St. Clair taking the second game and tying the series 1-1 apiece. A brilliantly played game to make this a best of five affair for the grand final. St. Clair College holding Akron at bay, preventing even the zero second. St. Clair take their first game in this series, making it competitive against the second seed of this tournament. And hopefully taking that momentum into game three. Akron looking to make some adjustments. Letting in six goals is unacceptable for the team of this caliber. Well, what I will say is it's very interesting that this is actually the first series in these playoffs, Seb, that we've casted that now will not be a sweep. Mm -hmm. So... Even though some of these series have been, you know, to call them a sweep is, you know, undermining it, underselling it a little bit. You know, there have been some close, all games have been pretty close uh, relatively, minus a couple from Davenport, but you know, we're going to talk about that. Uh, what I will say is that St. Clair right now making it competitive 1-1. We got a series on our hands, and I can't wait to see where this one goes. Yeah, it is a very exciting tale of the tape, mainly just because of the difference in play styles that they're approaching right now. We can see St. Clair, they really just play defensive as as defensively as possible until they explode into your half. So we'll see if it prevails here as Akron will look to break the jigsaw puzzle that is St. Clair's defense and try and take the lead in this series. It's going to be Vesh with the help defense, finding one and now two touches to save that ball out. Just letting St. Clair take some time on the back wall. But the Saints only on 20 boost. A player now oh, for geez. all three of them. Nearly missed chance there for Emilio. He probably wants that one back, but the ball was going across very fast. Most likely not able to reach it. Regardless, Akron with the clear out, sending it back. Is Vesh, does he have the beat? No, he does not. The dunk will not come through. Spoods sending it off of his own back wall. Using that rest of the boost, trying to force a 50. Not going to happen. Christian with the clear out now. And oh, it should be an open net. Spoods able to put it away. And the Saints open up the score. Just barely outpacing Akron in rotation. Catching them, lacking, catching them, sleeping. Guys. It is five o'clock in the afternoon. It is no longer morning. You should be fully awake by now, drinking some Tim Hortons coffee. Right, I mean, you gotta kinda stay alert in this series right now. I mean, either team could have it, but St. Clair, you know, they got the better of Akron in the first series. Akron not trying to let that happen again, not trying to let history repeat itself. Christian looking to make that happen though. The Saints 
trying to get the ball cleared out of their own half. They are going to do just that. Christian with a 50. However, it is going to be kept in, though, from Akron. They have some boost. Solo play, maybe. 50 Ooh, down 50. the back from Bullseye. But it is going to be Spoots. Just clear that ball out. Shot goes wow. top corner. It's going to be bar down. And Milio sends an absolute sniper. Snipe of a shot through the top. Yeah, so much of this was just off the challenge. And Spoots trying to take it away, get the clear and cut. So Akron will tie up this game with 342 left. And St. Clair will be in the defensive half again, looking for that transition goal that has been oh so perfected by this team in this series. And right now the redirect play coming through Spoots with the save, the help on the offense from Patty. It should be the pass, should be the shot. And it's going to be Bullseye finishing up the play. Beautiful 180 of the, of the game. This is completely flipped on its head. Akron with control now. Yeah. And again, this is just off of one missed touch on the St. Clair defensive rotation, and it can all collapse. All of that coming off of a whiff challenge from St. Clair, and no one being able to respond as they just weren't prepared for it. So I'm assuming that St. Clair will have some sort of solution or will be trying to lock in. This shot is going to be just saved by Milio. Spoods looking to keep it in play. Spoods rotate back. No boost. Only Vesh actually with boost in this one. Going for the catch to preserve some of that. This is efficient. Patty going to put one on. Spoods wins the 50. Now it's going to go back into the blue half. But St. Clair just not doing much with it. That's going to be a shot on. Oh, Bullseye makes it 3-1. Christian with the tough whiff on to the ball there. It's going to be Vesh just not quite able to find the read. Akron, they have their insurance goal now. Can they hold? Can they retake this series lead and make it two to one? Only time will tell. And we got two minutes and 45 left to decide. So Patty off the kickoff trying to send it in to the offense. It is going to be what should have been a clear goal for Akron. With two minutes 30, let's see. Can St. Clair make them pay the boost steal, though, from Milio? It's going to take off what I think was Vesh's boost, or sorry, Christian's that he should have had. Very good start so far for Akron going down the other way. St. Clair giving a bit of a lifeline. Now it's on them to make use of it. I think this is where we start to see the stylistic differences between these two teams really come to effect. Akron playing aggressive in the offensive half, looking for these bumps, looking for these demos to try and just break open the St. Clair defense. And in turn, immediately in transition, St. Clair look for their opening, going to be getting a bump and demo, but not going to get anything from it. Right now, Vesh over one. Can he find the second beat? No, not quite. 50 does come through. Patty on the back wall, has the flip, trying to get it around Christian, leaving it for Spoots. But Patty with a masterful bump. Beautiful awareness right there on the defense, realizing where the shooter was. And he saves Akron from potentially letting up a second goal. Cut from the St. Clair side. Vesh looking to collect. Not much boost in the tank for him. And it might be a fumble on the Akron side if they can't get these challenges in order. Vesh collecting a full tank. Get one over Patty, and he does, but it's a bit awkward. However, Vesh taking that boost is going to be huge. Faking for Spoods, but still, it's going to go back into the orange half. St. Clair will try again. And you really have to tip your hat to Milio there, being able to play around the offensive pressure one-on-one -on -one right now as the 50 does come through. Help defense from Milio yet again. He's been kind of the hard rock that kind of keeps Akron glued right now on the defensive side. Bullseye looking to pass down to Patty. Corner read should come through. It's going to be beat out from Vesh. The pass down to the pinch down, sorry. And now Spoots has to try to track a ball with 12 boost high up. Probably not likely to happen. The shot from Christian, redirect potential from Spoods, but with zero boost, most likely not going to be able to get the touch on. You know, I like the redirect idea. I'm feeling at this point that when it comes down to it, Akron just doing such a good job at getting these early challenges against St. Clair in the offensive half, and they just don't know how to respond. I mean, even there, Emilio able to get the pass from the backboard, and St. Clair just nowhere left to turn. Right, I mean, immediately off the bat, I want to say this, like, right now. This is a different series than what we saw in the morning. Akron is definitely a lot more locked. They are feeling a lot more comfortable. Turn around from Patty just to try to find the 50. Emilio just trying to kill time. It will be all she wrote. And with one second left, no matter what happens, Akron will go up 2-1 in the series.
with a 2-1 scoreline. St. Clair again behind and will have to work their way up. Akron are on a roll. They've won their past two series and doing so against one of the tournament favorites in Durham College. St. Clair, this is the second time they're really tested here and are going to have to do so against the second favored team in this tournament. Doing so, a very difficult venture. It's one thing to be Akron even once, but to do it twice in the same tournament is a whole other matter. Right, and I mean, you know, none of these players on the side of Akron are going to let that first matchup behind between them and the Saints affect them. Completely different, you know, matchup here, completely different series. That's all in the past. None of that matters. What does matter is right now. Vesh trying to find the pinch off the back wall to clear the ball out. It's going to be left for Spoods. Vesh maybe trying to run a little bit of interference or rotating. He's going to try to get a touch, but he's not going to find anything for his, tra uh, for his travels. Ilio, does he have the read on the back wall? No. Vesh able to clear it back out. Picks up the 100 solo play of his own potentially, but read out by Bullseye. And Bullseye's been doing such a good job of cutting through these Saints as they're about to kind of explode into Akron's half. He's able to kind of just find that pressure, keep the ball into the blue. And that's why I think Akron has had so much success. The career, or co oh, clear will go across. The redirect almost works in St. Clair's favor. Now they need to continue that possession, but the whiff plus demo only spells pain for St. Clair as they continue to try and fight against oh an God. offensive onslaught that really has nowhere left to turn, but the redirect may be a good start. Patty with a great save. Milio will be there for the challenge. We'll go back into the blue half as we do. Spoods either looking to play close or play bang. He's going to elect for the close play. Christian following up now on the corner, trying to find the pass. Maybe a drop down. Spoods is going to be right there. The defense couldn't quite predict where he was going to have the placement. And St. Clair are going to open up the score. And honestly, so much of this was on Christian to be able to carry it across the pitch, allow him to handle the defenders, as he is a fantastic ones player when he needs to be and definitely get the challenges he wants. So St. Clair securing air, their first lead in a while, but now they need to keep it. And that is not a play that you really want to see, especially coming from Vesh. Regardless, Spoots will be able to get the clear, and hopefully regress. Right, I mean, St. Clair, you have that one goal, but you can't afford to hold out. You need to try to put something else up on the board. Winning by one on Akron is going to be such a hard task to do with three minutes and 20 seconds left. You need to try to find something still. Akron trying to tie up the game. The pressure is on them, however, to get something started. Pinched down into the field. It's going to be Christian probably looking from a pass from Vesh. Vesh, does he have the double? Not quite. The shot from Christian not going to happen either. Bullseye cutting it off before anything goes Ooh. too crazy. Spoods not quite having the read himself. See, this is, I think, where the comms need to come in for St. Clair and recognize hey, I could be faking this if I don't have it. And then boom, you immediately have a teammate up. Bullseye going to be able to put that one, but somehow oh saved God. by Christian coming off the backboard. St. Clair defensive magic still continues. Again, Vesh looking for the clear off the backboard. Melio looks to keep it in play. Will be taken by Vesh. Vesh, Christian approaching the enemy half. Bullseye waiting for a good Vesh 50, but it won't come. Oh no! Oh, that's a dangerous a pitch from Spoots! I mean, that came out of absolutely nowhere. I was just about to applaud Christian and the Saints on how good their backboard defense has been. But you cannot afford to have that happen if you're Akron. That is such a horrible goal to concede. Unlucky as well, you know, but you got to give it to Spoots. He probably read the defender, just found the placement, realized, hey, I can get a really strong pinch here. That's dunk. Oh! That doesn't no. happen! Milio, you want that one back a thousand percent. That needs to be a goal. Training packs, training packs, training packs, training packs, training packs, <laughs> training, packs training packs, training packs, training packs, own they're goal potential. You, but what, what? Oh no! Oh my God! There are just so many chances right now that are being kind of washed away. You have to think maybe it's a mental thing, but Akron right now, they're kind of panicking. They're not finding the touches they need in order to finish the job. The pass does come through, no shooter online. Patty, third man, has to clear back, getting bumped as well. He is going to stay on the ball with eight boost, maybe trying to force a 50. Going to fake and leave it off to Milio, who has his shot, but the save again off the back wall from Vesh this time. 
clear, most likely coming down from Spooz. Lex to actually not do that himself. And now is going to wait. Vesh with a demo on, but I believe was the third man. Now is going to be Bullseye back again. 33 and he clears Vesh. One flip, I believe, off the ceiling. No, doesn't have it. Has to elect to go for the touch over, but it's not going to happen. Milio with one flip can try to find the dunk. No, not quite. Christian able to find the better of it. And I will say that Akron does have a propensity to get tilted. Some awkward scenarios. I did see it in some other teams here at the moment that something doesn't really go their way for a consistent period of time. And I'm wondering when that mental will become a factor. Milio, look at. Wow. Oh no. Uh, well then, that oh, is. No. What a save! <laughs> Spoods <laughs> looking for the shot, but Akron, at this point, they're playing against themselves. Yeah. Yeah. That, um. I mean, I don't really know what else I can say other than the fact that that's unacceptable. You can't have that happen. And that's just you're going to have to leave your back line open. If you're down by two with 30 seconds left, you got to start throwing all your eggs in one basket. And having bulls, I believe that was actually, if that wasn't a, a ghost touch or a, or a ghost hit, there was something going on there because I really did think he found a piece of it. But hey, you know what? The better of Christian to be aware of the shot opportunity. Bags one in the back of the net. St. Clair up 3 0. 3 0, and with it, probably the game. So we will go back to a tied series scoreline. At that point, we were at a best of five. Now we are looking at a best of three to qualify for the grand finals where the winner will face off against CRL Fall Champions Northwood. And all of the skill and accomplishment that comes with playing them. St. Clair will look to put it on the ground. We're going to a game six. What? A series. Five. This is five. Yes, five. that math. is that is math. math. Yes, but <laughs> we fixed it. Um, yeah, I mean, Long game day, five guys. so far. <laughs> but wow, I mean, what a series! This has definitely been so far. I would say probably the best series we've casted. Obviously, I mean that Northwood one was crazy, even though it was a sweep. But uh, you know, this just being as good, if not now, going to be better because there are more games to be played here, Seb. Well, I think it's just showing... It's it's good because it's showing some adjustment from both these teams. Like, Akron are clearly playing at a much better level. They're playing more like themselves that we would normally see within CRL. And now, St. Clair, I, I, it's hard to gauge because I don't know if this is just their base level or if they are just peaking. It's really difficult to determine just based off how they're playing. I will say that they are generally playing well against the likes of Akron, but it's about consistency at the end of the day. They, I will say the one thing that they are doing is sticking to their play style, and they are not budging. They are content with how they are playing, and they're not willing to make any drastic changes to fit the mold of someone like Akron. Yeah, um, I, I think if you're on the side of Akron, you know, so far, I don't necessarily want to say that you have to switch something up, because... You, it is 2-2. Two, two. It is 2-2. Two, two. They are, you know, surviving still. And, you know, if 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 uh, science proves us right, Akron should take this next game. So, based on that alone, I think it's just more of a mental thing for both teams to keep themselves in it. Who's going to be mentally more tough than the other? It's going to have to come down to that simple factor. So far, oh, we're, 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 a stalemate. We're yeah, in. we are okay. already in. 30 seconds in, but luckily no goals, so we didn't miss anything too, too important. Nope. And uh, it seems that as this gets underway, Akron will start out on the offense. So game five in this best of seven. University of Akron versus St. Clair College for the grand finals. Winner will secure the lead in the series and move on to series grand final berth point. Akron has been able to trade games back and forth, but St. Clair College will look to break this trading deadlock once and for all. And right now, Spood's trying to clear off of the back wall, has the better of the 50. Christian lurking with 100 boost, and it's going to be a little bit of an awkward touch with Spoots there. Thought he was going to leave it for Vesh, but I guess he wanted Vesh to kind of run interference oh, to set some Christian. Decent pass, Patty with the shot, saved out by Christian. 
And now Spoot's trying to man another attack down the field. Christian getting a great touch. We'll be able to get the flip reset. It's going to go straight down. Christian can't get around it. So all three defenders of Akron will immediately go into the counterattack. Melio is going to put this one Ooh. into the corner and transition an absolute heater into the net. Well, and you know, he's making up for the last time that that happened because last time he tried that, he saved his own teammate's goal. Yeah. yeah. So this time, you know, he, he gets it Listen, back. And we're all that's about your, character growth that's here, your, okay? Yeah, exactly. That's his development. So now he's gone past the character development arc, and now he is in a fully flourished stage. He bangs one through, opens the scoring up for Akron. But St. Clair trying to get the offense going once again on that orange side. Again, Bullseye able to play around these defenders like they're butter. Really no effort at all showcasing the one skill of these players. Vesh playing off the corner. It'll be rebounded by Bullseye and sent across the field. St. Clair looking for control in the offensive half and just looking to maintain some of that boost efficiency right now. Boost starving, excuse me, against the likes of Akron. Vesh is trying to run some interference down low, but it's not going to happen. Christian, the one touch, can he try to find the 50? No, wrong way, Christian. The 50 is not going to go in his favor, but he's lucky to have a teammate in Vesh to clear it back out. Vesh trying to read the corner, going to get the bump though onto uh, Milio, and now the flip reset, I believe, from Spoods. I don't know if he necessarily got her or if he was just trying to bait it out. He was trying to play low. Yeah, probably for the low 50 but Christian getting demoed on the back wall is not what you want to see. The pass most likely coming through. Where's the Akron shooter? Wow. Not going to be online as Christian gets Look at the boost. Here. Look how committed Akron were, and now they had to go all the way back for the boost, though they are back in the driver's seat. Going to be able to get the flick over one. Will be in Milio. Makes it easy. And Milio definitely making up for his last game mistakes. And as I said before, if you're Akron, just keep on working with your working with, baby. You're up right now. 2-0, you have that insurance goal. And like I said, if science were to be true, then it seems like as we go back and forth, punch, counter, punch, Akron will take this game. The Musty, though, trying to go in from Patty. I believe it was countered out. The ground double not coming through from Bullseye as well. Milio trying to find a pass off the sidewall. Going to find Spoots instead. Oh, Christian. Christian with a redirect with a better save from Patty. To be situationally aware of what was coming to him, it was a good job on the back line. Patty really starting to show up in this game defensively. Making saves like that is not easy, alone for a KBM player. But Christian still in the mix of things. Spoods. St. Clair haven't had too much time for possession. 90 seconds remaining. They want to break this deadlock of game trading. They're going to want to tie up this game as soon as possible. Right, I mean, it's so important just knowing that whoever takes this game, you have that knowledge that you just have to win one before you let the other team win two. So it is a huge game for the mental as well. And right now, Akron is in the driver's seat. They're not looking to slow down either, forcing a save out of Spoods. Going to be the mid pass, should be low shot. Oh, Vesh save. with the save as well. St. Clair not folding just yet on the back line from that offense, but they need to, or the defense, but they need to find some sort of offense. Right now, Akron has been holding them to a shutout. Yeah, and even that very basic clear with no effort, really. Spoods, backflips, shot coming in, potential double commit coming from the St. Clair side, but it works out to keep them alive. Need to get a goal now. Challenge will be coming through. Spoods doesn't win it. Vesh over to Christian, but he backs off. Assuming because, oh no, even then, Christian still had some boosts, so he's gonna have one more chance. You're gonna want to at least get this going. That's a demo That's over a Vesh. Pop. Spoods the last man. Christian respawns, but nothing will come from it as St. Clair will try and hold on. You gotta think too little too late right now. Up two goals, the clock is going down. Final 10 seconds. This one's gonna be all she wrote for now. It is going to be Akron going up to series point, grand finals point, as they shut out the Saints in a 2-0 performance. And again, just back and forth constantly between these two. It's, it's uh, essentially the tale of this series. One team wins, another team wins, the other team wins. It goes back and forth until someone can finally do it. Now it's St. Clair's turn to tie up this series, force the game seven on Champions Field, and make this a series to remember. Right, and I mean, such an important seat right now, such an important position. You know, St. Clair, they had quite the run 
but they're staring down the barrel of a match point series point right now. You gotta see if you can find something. Patty with the beat underneath, saving the flip reset to go, but Vesh will get the save. Christian with the clear out, going to leave it for Spoods on the back line, using that flip to try to find another 50. Hopefully, Zero Boost will not allow him to do so. Patty off the sidewall has someone in the middle waiting for a pass, but Vesh gonna be able to cut it out and grab a 50. Yeah, and that's what St. Clair needed. They needed to, the time to gather some boost and with it, hopefully try and position themselves for even better 50s. One thing that we see whenever Akron is dominating the field is they are very efficient and skilled with their 50s. And that is a whiffed shot that Spoots is going to regret as Akron will go on the offense and immediately Ooh. make them pay for it. Patty opening up the scoring. The Saints are going to want something like that back. A look like that is going to haunt them mentally. And now Akron able to feast on the opportunity that St. Clair gave them. Patty opens up the scoring and brings Akron one step closer to being in the grand final. St. Clair haven't been able to do much when from behind and this would be the perfect time to change that. Spoods looking for the clear. He's to DC 50. Patty will scoop. Potential solo actually, he's still dangerous. Vesh scoops underneath him. Looking for the 50 over Milio. Vesh. We need to see his presence here. That is a clear, that is a shot. Christian still playing defensively against an Akron that is not stopping and is unrelenting. And right now, Akron are doing such a good job of just keeping the ball in St. Clair's half. Seems like no matter what happens, the player instead, who is the first man up, does not rotate, doesn't panic in time, instead runs interference instead and finds a bump, who steals something to help out no. Akron and it is working to a T. They have St. Clair right where they want them. They're committing on these plays, but they are executing them perfectly. Vesh would want that back a thousand percent. Yeah. That is not a ball he should be missing, yeah. but sometimes that's just what happens when the pressure shines down on players. It's a very hard scenario to find yourself in. And it's going to be one that the Saints have put themselves in. They need to claw themselves right back out of it. And this is where we see a defensive play style can work in great order of magnitude, but only if you're able to make the counter attacks work. For the past two games, they just haven't. They haven't been able to beat them too hard to 50s, and as a maybe reverse caster curse this, which would be awesome. St. Clair just continuously struggle with the pace. As Akron are reading everything they're doing. They're receiving everything, returning it, or returning it in kind. Vesh with the solo play, trying to force out the 50. Where's the shooter? No, not going to be going in for the commitment. It is now Milio to get the clear out. And if you're St. Clair, there are still two minutes left, but you need to really start finding something. And if that means that you have to start taking risky plays in order to do so, if you find a goal, you know, that might just have to be what needs to be done. This play style is not working for them right now. They have to switch it up. That's a beautiful fake from Spoons, but he can't find a bump for his efforts. And now Vesh, left all by his lonesome, I believe has a flip, going to go off the sidewall. Can he try to scoop? No, not quite. Christian trying to run interference on the next play, but it's going to be cleared out. Not all the same. I thought Spoods wasn't going to quite be able to get there, but the ball was off target. And the 50s that are coming out of Akron so effective and so responsive. They're reacting immediately to whatever Akron is engaging with. Even a double commit on the offense. Avesh will look to be a hero. Flip reset shot, not going to be able to get through. Akron looks to be dangerous once again. Minute 49, that's a redirect, but it's not going to be on just wide. It's going to be the save coming out on the side of Akron and, or the clear, sorry. Flip reset from Spoots, finds the bump, but the shot can't come Vesh. through from Christian Vesh. Trying to find one as well, placement not online. Good bump. Spoots, but wow. the save comes out from Patty. One, two, three, the Akron defenders all act accordingly, and they are going to find the ultimate defensive stoppage. You have to think with momentum on Akron's side now, it is going to transition. Bullseye is going to find the pickup, and you have to think that barring a miracle, Akron, are going to be your grand finalists. That had to be the most dominant 20 seconds of Rocket League I've seen. 
completely putting down an iron wall against St. Clair. Nothing was going to get past. And in transition, flip reset goal to score your third and potentially final goal against St. Clair for the grand finals. With a minute remaining, St. Clair are on the back foot firmly. They need to score as soon as possible. Spoods even breaking the rule one just to keep St. Clair alive. With the last minute remaining, St. Clair fighting for their tournament lives. You have to see what they're going to do, but as each second ticks off the clock, every time an Akron player touches that ball, it's going to lead to dangerous. However, St. Clair, 2v1, pass goes out, can the bump be found? No, not quite. Besh on the solo play, but he's wasted a lot of boost, has the flip reset, not going to be able to get over, I believe it was Milio, to have the block out. It's just been such a defensive masterclass from Akron this game, and they're making St. Clair pay on the other side when the overcommits do happen from those defensive plays. You can't really sit here and say anything other than the fact that Akron was just a defensive monster. Sometimes a great defense is good offense. It shows here. Akron have been able to put St. Clair to work, break the trading at deadlock, have earned their spot and regained in this tournament to secure the grand finals. Everyone, it is going to be El Clasico. Akron qualifies for the Grand Finals to face off against Northwood. And I could not think of a bigger bounce back, right? Hats off to these Akron boys. They show up, they go 0-2 in the group stage to start off, right? I mean, there is no more mentally taxing thing than being like, okay, we showed up, and we've been we sucking just, canal water for the first... Yeah, yeah, a yeah bunch like against... First, uh, whatever teams. <laughs> right, but they end up finding a way back into it. Yeah. And it explains why this team is so good, why they are one of the top CRL contenders, why they have made top 16 in RLCS uh, before in that qualifier too. And so it really just does show that, you know, these players, Patty, Milio, uh, Bullseye, Tristan, if he was here, they are no pushovers. No. They get the job done and they have clawed their way back into this tournament. I mean, the system works and it's showing. And, and honestly, so much of this I feel for Akron is just such a mental regain for them to go and go one and two within round robin. It is a huge hurdle to overcome within a bracket and, and to do so and take out all of the top seeds in front of you because they had the hardest possible run to not only make it to the finals, but then potentially win this tournament. They had to go through St. Clair, they had to go through Durham, and then they were going to have to go through Northwood. And I, that it is the best kind of challenge that you could ask for, one that I hope that they are prepared for. So I believe we got some replays ahead of us to go through the tale of this series to see how exactly St. Clair matched up against Akron and the changes that Akron were making all over the pitch to try and take down their previous loss. Right. I mean, this series was just so punch counter punch. I mean, so many of these, uh, especially that one game where it was just, it seemed like kickoff after kickoff was just going in. These two teams really slugging it out here. Akron, they find themselves on the better portion of it. And uh, you really got to give it to their defense late game when it stepped up. Their defense was so, so sublime. They made the adjustments necessary. It was so wonky. <laughs> <laughs> it was such an awkward play from Vesh, but they made the adjustments needed. We were talking about how are they going to change. Akron changed. They made everything that they needed to make uh, do with, and they got the job done. So yes. all good to them. And we have one hell of a grand final ahead of us. Yeah, we got, I mean, we'll talk about it in a, in a bit, but Northwood versus Akron, I mean, it is the CRL classic. It is the first dynasty versus the great dynasty. And Akron has always, for the past couple of years now, been trying to reclaim that title as best collegiate team in the world. And against a team that has suffered, I don't even remember the last time they lost a series. Last year, I think, during summer series, that was the last time they have gone undefeated since then. A solid 18-0 within official CRL play, and then including this tournament, we have, what, uh, they played three series in round robin, and then two series. So that makes them 23-0, and basically, since, since their last loss. Uh, that... It, they are the most dominant CRL team for a reason. This is the greatest team ever assembled within a CRL context. And Akron will look to try and make it 
to Northwood and really elevate themselves to that challenge. So with that being said, we have our interview on stage with our second grand finalists from Akron. Let's take you to the stage. Second grand finalists, indeed, the University of Akron taking down the hometown St. Clair Saints. I'm joined now by Patty. Take me through that series. A lot of ups, a lot of downs, but ultimately you come out on top in game six. Uh, yeah, it was definitely a huge mental battle, especially because we lost to them in groups three to one. Uh, but I'm just lucky enough to have fantastic teammates that can carry me through. So talk to me about that group stage. Obviously, you guys come into this event with Milio. Um, you don't start groups probably how you wanted to at all. Um, what were the conversations like as a team and with your coach to bounce back and start looking forward? Well, we haven't really practiced that much as the three of us together. Uh, so it was kind of a new experience. Uh, the first losses or first two losses definitely hurt a lot, but we we're happy enough to bounce back and try to have a new mental for the bracket play. What, what was the key or like what what kind of conversations did you guys have in order to bounce back for the bracket play, knowing that if you lost, you were done? Uh, it's just a lot of just getting rid of all the negative thoughts. Just telling, no, you're good. You're good. We're better than this team. We can do it. And it's just kind of that kind of repetition. Fair enough. Well, Northwood, obviously your grand final opponent, best of seven match as well. <laughs> yeah, that, that doesn't look like a face of excitement, but um, you know, you guys aren't far off underdogs to, to say the least. So um, what's going to be the most important thing for you guys to take into this series? Uh, just do our best, focus on the same things we were in the last series and just hope it works. So you guys went through a bit of a role change for this series. Um, obviously it worked. Um, are you guys sticking with the same game plan for, for Northwood? I have absolutely no idea. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Pure honesty from Patty as uh, Akron or will be moving on to your grand finals. Uh, great games. Good luck in the next. And uh, we are going to throw it back uh, to another break. So University of Akron taking on Northwood University in just a few moments.